Well, here's the Buster Beagle. Injection molding machine in full production. <laughs> Fully automated, haven't touched it in several hours. I've got my little cooling fan now that keeps the junction between the mold and the nozzle cool so that the plastic can firm up and not stick. When the part is sent to eject this line here, I put a T in it. And that now blows across the mold surface, helping the part separate from the mold, even though there are injection pins or injector pins. cycle it so you can see the mechanism. There's a big cylinder on top. It has a magnetic sensors on the top and the bottom of the travel and this is a little magnet on the actuator. So I can tell, the computer knows that if it's open or closed and nothing happens if it's not in either position. There's the auger, the hopper. That lasts me about five or six hours, that hopper bin. There's the uh, chute that it comes out of. There's the magnetic, or the electronic eye that looks for the part. I put a couple pieces of paper to slow down the parts from falling too fast so that they come across that. And just in case they get hung up in there, there's a little airline that blows in the box. I find that this stuff works really good as a mold release and general lubricant. I'm not sure if there's any difference at all, but I just got the WD-40 today because the blaster dry loop with Teflon was drying out, or running out. I found these really sharp cutters. They're really nice. They come together real tight against the part. I was using... Uh, these type in the past and they did a pretty good job all in all but they were getting a little bit dull on the teeth so I ordered a new set on Amazon I just got those today too that's the uh, brand you can see some of my molds that I've recently been running did a couple thousand of parts of each CNC milled those on my little Gamitsu 3020 Pro Max, the original version. Did a bunch of upgrades on those. Here's a couple thousand parts getting ready to ship. Here's what has come out in the last couple hours. It takes about four minutes cycle time to produce one of these parts. And uh, these new scissors. They're cut really nice. She's doing another cycle here. You can see the automation up here. It tells what's happening. That is actually an automation load running. I keep track of my, well, I input the cycle time that I want, so I have the pause between each injection and uh, filling time i hold it for 13 seconds after the uh, mold is full so it can cool and not get shrinkage as much i only give it 16 seconds to cool after it's uh, finished the injection cycle and this is my target depth i'm trying to plunge to that's where it reached to last time 
And that's how many seconds, 32.5 seconds, it took to fill the container. What's interesting is that I have this little ruler that goes down and there's a eye that counts those strips. And uh, that number appears how many counts it did. So if it's less, it adds less material. And if it's gone deeper, like 13, 14, it'll add more material. And it'll keep it pretty close to 12 most of the day. It's been pretty neat how that works. Self-adjusting. Only a few times I've had a little bit of a failure. So anyhow, thought I would just give an update to how my Buster Beagle machine is running.